Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu, the bumblebee traveling salesman. The problem is as follows. You're given a list of cities and you're given a distance between any two pairs of cities. You have to come up with the shortest route to visit all of the cities and get back to the origin city. That's the traveling salesman problem. Hmm, bees can solve this problem. Sounds tough, right? But it's not for the humble bumble. So they were given a list of artificial flower feeding station at Rothamsted Research in Harpenden. So the bees were given the option of taking shortcuts between the artificial flower feeding stations, but it, overall it would actually increase the distance the bees would have to travel. Now bear in mind, you're a bee, you're just going from one station to the next. You're just seeing stations going from one to the next. Of course, initially, the bees did that. They went to the nearest one, then the next nearest, then the next nearest, nearest shortest distance between the stations, but overall, they had to cover a much larger distance. But as time progressed, they were finding the shortest possible route to go from station to station and back to the origin, which wasn't necessarily meaning you go from one to the next closest one. They found the most efficient route to do it. So they looked at six bumblebees, which made 201 flights, and they used a special, re the researchers that is, used a special radar, which could track the little bee transponders on their back. So they got a reading of where the bee was every three seconds to an accuracy of about two meters. So they knew exactly where each bee was within the environment. This is amazing simply because bees, they don't, they can't like look at a map and say, hmm, let's go here, then here, then here, then here. They literally have to fly around, but as they're flying around, they're making a mental map of the place. They fly to one flower at a time. So if they get to every flower, they then integrate that into their spatial memory in relation to all of the other flowers. And therefore, over time, they found the most efficient route to visit all the flowers whilst expending the least amount of energy possible. On one hand, this is great because it helps us to understand the effect of things like habitat loss and intensive farming on pollination of plants, which in itself can save billions and billions of pounds. On the other hand, yeah, you guessed it, AI, artificial intelligence, here again. So you can use this information to help improve the reliability of autonomous robots, whether it's food delivery robots or cleaning robots or killer robots. It's finding the most efficient path to track around in their environment. So both robots and agriculture will benefit from the salesman bee. That is the Bumblebee Traveling Salesman. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.